I'm going to show you a few gotchas when you're making email templates within Pardot. A few items that we've seen um, that we'd just like to clarify. This is part two of making an email template and sending a list email. If you haven't seen part one, go and watch it. It's a great resource when you're starting from scratch and need the directions on how to actually send to a list within Pardot. So, the first gotcha that we see happen in Pardot email templates is um, button issues. So if you're working with the template that you've had custom coded that has these buttons in them, when you actually click and you want to relink this button to something else, we do see a lot of the HTML breaking and the button doesn't show up right in Outlook or other softwares like that. So um, to make sure you're actually editing the right link and nothing breaks, we suggest that you go into this button here, the HTML button, and you're going to find the old link that you want to replace. You're going to highlight from each quotation mark, and you're going to put in your new link right here. You can just type it in, help.salesforce.whatever you need there. So when you edit the button, just make sure to go into this code here and change out the button here rather than on this screen. Another um, gotcha that we see happen is clients don't realize that you can actually move these rows up and down or delete them. So say you don't want an entire row right here. You can hover over this upside down triangle and hit remove, you can duplicate it. And depending on um, who custom coded your email or what you're working with, you might be able to move it up and down within your email as well. And then another um, gotcha that we see is when you're adding an image to your email template, maybe this picture isn't the right size for you, but you don't want it to um, stretch out. So to ensure that you don't stretch it out, you can double click the image just like you're going to upload a new one. And right here in this width and height settings, you can make sure that this lock screen is locked. So if you adjust the width to let's say 800 instead, you see it's auto updating the height. So you just want to make sure that you have this lock actually locked down instead of unlocked like this. And you can always revert back to the original image settings by going to this little loop. And it will update it back to how it was when you uploaded the image to part up. And that's it for today. Just uh, three quick gotchas for email templates. Let us know if you have any other questions or issues that we can help you solve.